Hi, and welcome back to another car conversation, you guys. Happy Friday. Hope you all had a very productive week. My week, as always, it was long and busy, but productive nonetheless. So you know what? I'm not going to complain. It's Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. For those of you that have to work on Saturdays and Sundays, I tip my hat to you. Thank you for, for the service and the work that you do so that we can go wherever it is we need to go on a Saturday or Sunday. But my work day is over today as as of 4.30, hopefully 4.30, maybe by 5 o'clock, but hopefully 4.30 today. And I just want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So today's topic is all about your passion is for you. Okay, now listen to me clearly. Your passion is for you. Your purpose is for other people. Okay? So if I had to break that down a little bit more, let, let's unpack that a little bit. Because passion is about the what. Your passion is what you do. Your purpose is about the why. Why do you do what you do? Okay? So number one, I, I just sh shared that with you. But passion is about your emotions. We do things because they make us feel good. Your passion is the emotional drive to do what you do. I am passionate about making my candles. I am passionate about making my wreaths. I am passionate about so many things, but those are just two things that come to my mind at the moment. But those things are passions that I have. They're not, they're not my purpose for waking up every day. It's just a passion that I have. Number two, purpose is your why. It's the reason why you do what you do. Pa uh, purpose is the foundation on which your passion should be built. Mm. So you see passion and purpose, they, they, they really do go hand in hand. Let me say that one more time. Purpose is the foundation on which your passion should be built. I have a passion for motivating people. My purpose is to be a motivational speaker. I honestly do believe that. And once I finish, you know, when I retire from my good government job, that's what I plan on doing. My passion is 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 speaking life into people. My purpose, like I said, is to be a motivational speaker because I want to see people be healed and happy and whole and letting them know that, hey, life may not be going great for them right now, but it can and it will get better. Number three, passion can have selfish motivational times. What you, I'm sorry, y'all can't read my own writing. Passion can have selfish motives at time. What you can oftentimes be what you what you can oftentimes be all about you and nobody else. Okay, I, I can't even read my own writing, but I know what I'm trying to say. So your passion can have selfish motivations at times. And sometimes what you do is all about you and nobody else. Again, when I make my candles, that's all about me. I make my candles because I love burning candles. And I'm just tired of spending 15 20 25 $30 on candles at Bath and Body Works. Do I love them? Of course I do. Would I ever buy another one? I probably will. But for right now, I'm enjoying making my own candles. But I do that for me. I don't make them to sell. I make them for me. It's just like my wreaths. I love, on the front door, I think I have the bumblebee wreath up now. But uh, and, and next month, I'll put up my 4th of July wreath. But I love making my wreaths. I don't make them for other people, but I love... And now, let me not say that, because a good friend of mine, when his stepdad passed away, because he had served in the military, I did make him a military wreath as a gift, and he appreciated it so much. So I ended up ordering the name tags, because he told me stepdad's last name. I ordered the name tags, the patches, all of that good stuff, and he truly loved the wreath. And so I did that as a gift to him because I knew he was hurting and, and that was a way, you know, to help help him heal inside. Now, did that take away all his pain? No, it did not. However, I do believe it helped a lot and he had no idea I was making it anyway. But I, I was going to set all that to say that my passion, can, well, I said sometimes your passion can often be about you and nobody else. Well, when I make my wreaths, I make them for me. Now, I always look out for my sister and make her one as well, but it's something that I do for my own happiness. I like coming home and seeing that cute wreath on the door. 
And I, but like I said, I do it for me. I'm not doing that for other people. If other people didn't like my wreath, I wouldn't care. You know why? Because I do it for me. Number four, purpose has a specific focus. Purpose doesn't stop because you're having a bad day. Purpose doesn't stop because things don't work out. Purpose doesn't care what other people think. See, when you're walking in your purpose, when you are walking in your purpose, you don't have time to worry about who likes you and who doesn't. You don't have time to worry about what other people think about what you're doing because you don't care. Okay? And it's as simple as that. Now, I'll be honest with you, that's me 99.9% of the time anyway. I do what I do because I believe it's my purpose to do it. doesn't matter what you think of me or what you think about what I'm doing. I really don't care. I was getting ready to say something. I had to catch myself. But I really don't care. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? But let me go back to what I just said. Your purpose has a specific focus. So when people say, but Michelle, I don't know what my purpose is. I need you to get sit down with pen and paper and figure out what is your purpose. Figure out where your focus is. Figure out what that thing is that you need to do that somebody is counting on. Because I promise you, some of you are watching this video, you have a purpose. You may not know what it is right now, but you have a purpose. And you're not walking in that purpose. And guess what? Somebody somewhere is missing out on what you have to offer because you're not walking in your purpose. And I need you to really, really, really figure that thing out. And then I went on to say that your purpose doesn't stop because you're having a bad day. My purpose is to do my motivational videos. You know why? Because when people send me messages saying, Michelle, thank you so much for that vi that uh, video. You have no idea how that was right on time. You have no idea how I needed that word for today. Or you have no idea how what you talked about is, is me right now. This is what I'm going through. And thank you so much. So just because I'm having a bad day or I don't feel like it, I still have to, to, to get my videos done. You know why? Because there are people counting on me to do what I do. One of my good girlfriends, she told me a couple of days ago, she said to me, she said, you know, I watch your videos. She said, I don't comment, but I watch them. She said, you have no idea how much I love what you do. And that made me feel so good because I had no idea that she was even watching them. So I don't get to say, well, Michelle, I, you just don't feel good. Just like today, honestly, I didn't feel like doing this video because my throat has been bothering me. Number one, my sinuses are draining. My throat has been bothering me. And I just didn't feel like doing it. But I said, you know what, Michelle, you're going to get you some water, lubricate, lubricate your uh, throat, and you're going to get out here and do this video <laughs> because somebody is counting on you. But again, when you're walking in your purpose, you don't have, to time, you don't have time to worry about how you feel. You need to still get out there and do that thing. And then purpose doesn't stop because things aren't working out. Right now, I can honestly say I don't have anything in my life that's not working out. But even if it even if it wasn't working out, I still need to get here and do these videos. Because for the same reasons I just gave you a few minutes ago, people are counting on me to do what I said I was going to do. So I may have some things over here that aren't working out, but the video over here still has to go on. And then I said, purpose doesn't care what other people think. I don't care what other people think. Now, I do, well, let me not say that because that's not totally true. I do care what God thinks about what I say and what I do. I do care about my coach's opinion of what I do. You, you see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, my videos, I the topics that I did I choose again are topics that somebody either suggested that I talk about, topics something that came up because of a conversation I was having with some somebody, or sometimes it can be a video that I was looking at and something was said and it made me go, oh, let me write that down because I want to do a video talking about that, or it could be a video that I saw and I decided to recreate what I was listening to and bring my own spin to it. But I can't sit and worry about whether or not Susie Q likes what I do or whether or not, whether or not Carl likes my channel. That's, not, that's, that's none of my concern. That's not my business and it's not my concern. They're free to dislike what I do and they're free to not subscribe to my channel. I really don't care because guess what? My life is going to go on and I'm going to continue to doing what it is that I believe is my passion, my purpose, and my calling in life. It's just like my pastor emeritus. One time he was preaching and he said, you know, people think 
that preachers are always fired up about standing in the pulpit to to bring the word. He said, but you all have no idea how sometimes I truly don't feel like preaching. He said, sometimes I want to sit down and have somebody preach to me. And he said, but but because I have a congregation, I've got to get up and preach the word. Because the, the people in the church, they came to hear the pastor preach. So that's what the, the pastor's going to do. But they don't always feel like it. It's just like with motivational speakers. Motivation, motiv, mm, I can't even speak now. Motivational speakers don't always feel like getting up to motivate people. You all have no idea. Well, you know now because I'm telling you. But you all have no idea how so many times I record my videos. And even though I'm engaged in the video and I'm smiling and all that other good stuff, you have no idea how I didn't feel like doing the video again. Again, case in point, this video right here. I just don't really feel like, I didn't feel like doing it. But I know it's a topic that somebody needs to hear. So I said, no, Michelle, you're going to press your way and you're going to make it happen. Doesn't matter that you don't feel like it. It's not about you. It's about the people that come to your channel to, to view what you put out there. So let me do a quick recap and I promise I'll let you be. Today we talked about your passion is for you and your purpose is for other people. I talked about how passion is about the what and purpose is about the why. Why do you do what you do? And so, number one, I said passion Passion is about your emotions. We do things because they make us feel good. Your passion is the emotional drive to do what it is that you do. Number two, purpose is your why. It's the reason why you do what you do. Purpose is the foundation on which your passion should be built. Operative word there is should be. Sometimes it may not be for some people, but it should be. Number three, passion can have selfish motivation at times what you do can oftentimes be all about you and nobody else again that's your passion and it's all right if your passion is all about you because sometimes it will be other times it'll be about other people and then number four i said purpose has a specific focus again remember that purpose your purpose my purpose our purpose has a specific focus purpose doesn't stop just because you're having a bad day. It doesn't stop just because things are not working out for you. And it doesn't it doesn't care what other people think. People are going to think what they want to think. Let them think that. Who cares? Why is that your problem? That's none of your business. You don't focus on that. You focus on what your purpose is, what your passion and your purpose are. That's your focus. Not to worry about what other people think about you or what you do. Okay, that's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much to my newest subscribers. My heart just always does a couple of leaps when I get a notice and I have a new subscriber. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love each and every one of you all to the moon and back. And when I say that, I need you guys to fully understand that when I say that I love each and every one of you, I truly mean that. I truly mean that from my heart. I Because love is not a word that I use loosely at all. If you know me, then you know that. But I truly love each and every one of you. I couldn't do what I do without your being here, being a part of my little world. And so thank you for that. And it was something else I was going to say, but I lost my train of thought just that quick. Mm, old age is setting in. <laughs> but that's all right because, oh, I know I was going to say, y'all know the drill. I'm going to love you no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing at all. Until next time, take care.